Hmm? We've been going on some pretty serious jungle adventures lately. And I've been thinking, we need to laugh a little. So I have some jokes for you. Oh, OK. OK, so I once met a frog who got really worried when his car broke down because he had to have it towed. Mm. OK, OK. The king of the jungle once told me he was a tiger. He was lying. Mm. OK, last one. I knew a koala once who got really upset when she didn't get a job because she thought she had all the right qualifications. <laughs> hey, that was good. That was good. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Jay, have you ever heard of the river rampage effect? No, what's that? It's been said that when you wear a rain jacket for no reason, you can get hit by mysterious tidal waves that come seemingly from nowhere. Shh, river rampage effect, shmiver shmampage effect. Okay, well, why don't you try on this rain jacket? Okay, fine, no problem. One. I told you. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was just a coincidence. I think I'd take that rain jacket off if I were you. It's going to take a whole lot more than that for me to take the river route out effect seriously. Well, maybe if we press play, we can go somewhere that you actually need that. Yes, please. Three, Three two, two, one, press play! play! Whoa! Where are we? No idea. But I bet she knows. Oh. Hi. My name's Miriam. You guys need life vests. Oh. oh, you already got them. Good job. Why, thank you. I pride myself on preparation. Oh. Okay, you two better grab these oars and start paddling. Okay. These waves are no joke. Welcome to the whitewater rapids of the Amazon. These rapids remind me of the Bible story that includes a body of water called the Red Sea. Ooh. And another person with the name Miriam, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> oh, watch out! Huh? Oh. I think we might be hitting a bit oh. of a calm stretch, so I can tell you the story that comes Ooh. from the book of Exodus, chapter 13 through 15. Ooh. A calm stretch. Sorry, here is the calm stretch. So, Pharaoh had finally agreed to let God's people go free from Egypt where they had been slaves for 400 years. But that Pharaoh was not cool. So the Israelites hadn't gotten far before he changed his mind again. He got his whole army and they came after Moses and the Israelites. Oh, watch out! Huh? Whoa, come on, she's completely dry. Stick with me and I'll lead you to safety. Yeah. Speaking of that, it was hard for the Israelites to believe that God would lead them to safety. They were in a pretty hairy situation. They had Pharaoh's army right on their heels, and Moses, God's chosen leader, was leading them right for the Red Sea. <laughs> what were they going to do? An army charging up behind them and a raging sea in front of them? Oh, speaking of raging sea, on your left. Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I get my directions mixed up sometimes. I don't know how I have this job. Uh, no worries. <sighs> the Israelites were afraid. They asked Moses why he'd gotten them into that situation. But then Moses said something that seemed crazy. He said, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you need only to be still. Exodus 13, 13 and 14. Be still? That would be like trying to stand still on this raft riding the rapids. Then God instructed Moses to stretch his hand over the sea. When he did, God used a mighty wind to make the sea like two big walls with dry ground in the middle of them to walk right through. So they did. Mm. Then Exodus 14, 26 and 27 says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at the daybreak, the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. Whew. What a story. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Oh, we got a bit of a rough patch here. Listen to me and do as I say, and we'll make it through. Ready? Ready! Ready. 
Paddle left. Paddle right. Now left. Left again. Now hold on. We're riding some fun rapids now. Yeah. All right. We made it. Good job. Just like you trusted me, the Israelites learned they could trust God because God leads us to safety. Whoa! Oh, look at that. That means we gotta go. Thanks Whoa. so. <laughs> Thanks so much, Miriam. This was awesome. Wait, I have to tell you guys the best part. After all this, Moses and Miriam, that's where I got my name from, sang a song to celebrate what God had done. Maybe you two can sing a song of celebration when you get back from wherever you came from. Absolutely. Secret handshake time, everybody join in. Woo! Woo! What you doing, bud? Oh, I'm working on our song of celebration, just like Miriam said. Oh, cool. Let me hear it. Oh, okay, well, it's a work in progress, okay. <clears throat> uh, unique New York, unique New York. You know you need unique New York. <clears throat> uh, Emma, give me a beat. We were riding the rapids of the Amazon, and then I got splashed in the face again and again. Miriam taught us about the Egyptian army and how they got washed away in the Red Sea. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think? Um, it's it's really good, Jay. Very special. Yeah. So, we pressed play and rode the rapids of the Amazon with Miriam. We learned about the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. God parted them and led them to safety. And God does the same for us. When we're in trouble, God leads us to safety. You know what time it is. Time to... Drop, drop the, the verse! verse.